So when I dragged this Jeep out of a barn, one of the things that I finally found buried in the back here was a trailer hitch, which may or may not be for this Jeep. I'm gonna try to put them on, see what happens. I tried looking it up, there's not really any numbers or anything. It's a couple bags of hardware and, you know, trailer hitch pieces with holes that I don't know. And then there's miscellaneous brackets like this that I don't even know if they go to this trailer hitch. I don't think they do. So I've been looking things up and near as I can tell, you know, these slide together, well, you know, like this and, and there's a little bit of adjustability there and so on and so forth for width and these bolt up to your unibody frame that's near as i can figure i don't know all these extra plates i don't think they go to this trailer hitch i don't know what they go to but I'm not going to worry about that right now i think it's just these three main pieces the sides and the center i tried looking up some information on youtube and tried googling this trailer hitch and it doesn't really have a number on it, it just says A-car something, 5,000 pound, I don't know. I think it actually is for this Jeep. Let's see what we got. So I got these holes up here. And I believe that this aligns with all of those holes roughly. It seems to be some problems overlapping there. I don't know if you're supposed to reshape the unibody for that point or what the deal is, but I don't know. The ones I saw online, they fit up tight here and they don't have to, you know, they don't have to kick forward any, but to get all the holes to align, well, yeah. So I think we can put those on each side might have to rearrange the exhaust system a little bit but I think that'll work I believe I have threaded inserts that we slide back in here for the screws to go up into hold it into the unibody uh, so yeah let's uh, I mean let's see if we can get one on and then we'll do the hard side with the exhaust and everything over there well so here's our nut and bolt inventory we got a one and seven eighths inch ball, some solder. I shudder to think what that might be for. A little spring thing, two bolts, lock washers, four nuts of two different sizes, and four large washers, which are the same diameter as that. That's all in one bag. And then in the other bag, that's everything here. We got wheel studs for that one the threads are messed up and that's like brand new I don't even know what's going on there that's not gonna help anybody do anything the rest are okay that looks like a factory defect there what in the world oh, it doesn't even look like it's ever been used anywho we got this stack of washers we got this stack of plates with offset holes these wedge plates and two of these and two of these carriage bolts which may or may not go through there uh lock washers of various sizes nuts <laughs> i don't know if this is for the trailer hitch or not they're all together in one place i mean this is for a trailer hitch that's the only thing i know for sure but solder and a spring i don't know no instructions or anything <laughs> i gotta look at this and See, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could put the carriage bolts down through the holes if they lock into there, but no, they don't. They don't fit those square. I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I gotta look at this. I was hoping there were. Usually, there's plates, square plates, so they can't rotate in the frame that go in, and then those are threaded for bolts to go up in. I got none of that. I don't know what this is. Maybe we won't be putting a trailer hitch on. I don't know. So as you can see, we've got out the death wheel. 
This is the point at which I tell you, don't try this at home, kids. We need to modify these a little bit. I don't know if this is like a universal setup or I measured and everything and it, I mean, it, it, the holes line up, well, some of them, like three of the four holes line up and everything if you put them in right. Anyway, this hole is not used and this kind of, there's a, there's a kick down on the sheet metal on the unibody and it interferes with this here. So I'm just going to knock off this corner here on both of them. Just going to zip here and zip here, take that corner off. And then I don't have to worry about it, you know, bending the frame as I tighten it together. So let's cut them off. Safety third. We got some expert and precision death wheel work. And now they should fit. I want them rusted. Way too much paint. Perfect. So it looks like as far as bolting these on, I have a couple options. I can custom make plates. I looked online, I looked a little more, and there's like supposed to be some kind of factory thing that slides in here that has nuts welded to it. And I looked at this Jeep and I looked at my green parts Jeep and neither one have it. So I, I don't know if it's an optional thing, part of a towing package. I don't know. I don't have any. I don't have the money to get them. I could custom make some kind of plate threaded, or I could just, you know, put the nuts and bolts in there together. You know, you can tighten these. You can feed a wrench down through there and get on the end because the end of the frame is open here. So I think what I'm going to do, what I'm going to try first is I'm going to feed this nut through and see if I can get it down through the hole. And if I can do that, then I can get a wrench on the top side of this. And yeah, that might work. So let's see if that does anything. There where you can't see a thing. I don't know if I can go. That's not going to work. I got to be at this angle. No, I got to change that. I don't know how this is going to work. It's going to be like a 90 degree, kind of like that, maybe. I don't know. Keep it up through there. Here, if I take this plate off, I don't know. Take this plate off here, and maybe I can get to it through this hole. Maybe, maybe I'll have to try that. I don't know if you saw that, but you know, I could get through it to this hole if I get my finger up there, but unbolt that. I don't know. Maybe. I think I've got it. There's one. Okay, I think the other one. Check here. I need another one through that hole there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if I can feed another one. All right, I got two screws dropped through. That should be enough to get it up in place for now and uh, get it located. Okay, that's enough to hold it in place. Now we'll go over to the other side, which is the harder one. Uh, this has an exhaust hanger. I don't know, various things. So I guess for now we need to take that exhaust hanger out and hold the exhaust out of the way so we can... Yep, mm-hmm. That never goes well. All right, let's see if we can remove some of these rusty bolts and well, this coat hanger. All right. Let's take a 
down with the coat hanger. Can you even see what I'm doing? Well, if I tilt you down, you can. All right. Get some of this stuff out of the way. This coat hanger. It may or may not be holding up the exhaust. out of the way probably way too rusty to remove but we're gonna try oh, well guess you don't have to remove it if it moves itself huh okay so that bracket needs to come down I mean, it needs to come down anyway because it's not doing anything. That means these two have to come out. They're probably not going to want to come out. It's going to be 18 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Probably don't have an 18 millimeter socket. Oh, I'm going to go find what I have. Ugh. Well, I finally tracked down an 18 millimeter in one of my obscure tool kits here. Did it loosen? Oh, it did. Oh, I got like a two foot breaker bar on here. Uh, all right, let's see if we can break the other one loose here. Oh, all right. Don't even have to get out the impact. That's good. out the impact for this. You do it the easy way, why well, struggle, right? Ordinarily I don't like power tools, but Junk in my eyes. I think that one came out. Oh, that's good. Okay. Ugh. The garage floor is extra dirty today. Oh, where'd the bolt go? Where'd? Oh, it's still up in there. Okay. One bolt out. Uh, just gotta get the other one out now. folks ah. all right did we even get any progress at all i am about out penetrating oil
can't go forward or back now. Loosened it up enough for impact bill. Success. has the threaded insert in it to hold on that bracket. So I guess that's what we needed. That's what they were talking about. have to fight with that for a bit. I want to get these bolts on before I get too much further, get everything snugged up. That way, still get them through the holes. Okay. I think all the bolts are in now. We just gotta tighten them up, snug everything up, and then, yeah, now we can up all these bolts down here. I don't recommend this style trailer hitch because as you can see it's a little loose at the joints here. I prefer the fully welded kind one piece but 
Maybe if I tighten these down with an impact, it'll, you know, squeeze them together a little bit. I can try that and, yeah. Well, there's the label on this thing. Like I said, I don't know anything about it other than that. I don't know, V5 maybe? A car V5? I don't know. All right, I tightened these down to about 15 million foot-pounds and she's not loose anymore, so we won't have any rattling. That's good. Get a muffler. So, if I really wanted to use this thing for towing actual trailers and things, I'd probably want a better reinforcing plate up inside the unibody on the driver's side. As you can see, I just put bolts through it right now. I may go back and actually weld that to the unibody or uh, pull those bolts out and put reinforcing plates inside the unibody frame so it has more, you know, support. Right now it's good for what I need it for, which is, you know, if I want to stick a winch in here or if I want to put one of those cargo carriers on here, you know, to carry my generator or something, then that's what I want it for right now. I didn't put on any trailer wiring and I'm not going to right now because, like I said, I'm not actually going to try towing with it. For anybody who has a, you know, 4.0 Jeep, well, you know that they have a reputation sometimes for overheating, so towing isn't so great with these things. So that's not my end goal with this. I might use it for moving trailers around occasionally, but I have the tractor for that. So mainly I want this trailer hitch on here because, well, it was free. It came with the Jeep and you might as well put it on. And it's going to be real handy for my trailer hitch mounted winch, especially if I decide to take this thing on an off-roading test, which I might do. I don't know. Uh, is anybody interested in seeing how a stock XJ does off-road? I mean, probably everybody knows by now they're so old, but... <sighs> Might be more interested in seeing me get stuck and laugh at me. <laughs> anyway, that's the main goal here. That's why I put this on, and that's why I, I did this. If you're actually going to use one of these for towing, I would recommend actually getting those support plates on both sides in the unibody, not just this side. Just adds a little bit of, uh, you know, reinforcing for the, you know, the downforce on the hitch. Obviously, these aren't rated for more than a couple hundred pounds, but even this is, you know, if it can hold me without falling off right now, that's all I need it for at the moment. And, of course, if I get stuck, I got these nice hooks, you know, you can use to tow yourself out. People in the past towed on the bumper, and that's why it's bent up like that. In fact, I think I think I did that towing it out of the barn. So now, if we need to tow it anywhere, we got the, you know, we got the built-in tow tow point. So that's putting the trailer hitch on our '98 Jeep XJ. If you like what we're doing, feel free to like, subscribe. I always appreciate it. There's going to be a lot more on this Jeep on the channel because we've still got more things to do on this. And of course, you can see previous videos we've done on the playlists and things for this. So, as always. We appreciate you coming along. Thanks for watching. If you're like me, and you got to reuse everything you have because you're poor, well, you might want to take an old rusty piece of metal, you know, and freshen it up. So I've got just the proper thing for you. If you've got an old rusty piece of metal and you want to clean it up, I recommend a nice cold Dr. Pepper. Mm. Delicious. Anyway, you take your Dr. Pepper and you just kind of, you know, give it a good sprinkle. And you just, you know, kind of give her a good wipe. Look at that! Brand new metal. Like new. Yep. Good to the last drop. Or something like that. I don't know what Dr. Pepper's motto is. I don't sponsor it. I just make stupid videos. And it's delicious.